McLeod on their feet in appreciation. Well taken. Hi, this is Robbie from Arsenal Fan TV here on Retro TV. The guys have asked me to do a rundown of the top 10 worst ever Arsenal kits. Now, to be fair, there have been a few. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna go take a run through them. Let's find out which ones are the 10 worst. And number 10 is the 1982 to 83 green and blue away kit. Bit before my time, and I'm kind of glad because uh, I'm a guy that I do like to buy all the kits, but I'm glad I haven't got this one in my collection. It was terrible. Um, we weren't playing very well at that time and probably down to the kit. At number nine, it's got to be the 92-94 home kit. If you're an Arsenal fan, you know, we don't like people messing around too much with our home kit. You know, that red with the white traditional sleeves, we like it like that. But Adidas came in and put all these little lines and marks and all over the sleeves and nah, it didn't work for me. However, to be fair, we did win the cup double in that kit, so it's a classic, right? At number eight is the 2015-16 third kit, I've actually got this kit and it is horrible. The diagonal lines at the bottom, I mean, listen, it's hard. When it's a third kit, you've got to try something different, something that's, you know, gives it a bit of flavor or whatever, but Puma, it didn't work, mate, sorry. At number seven, it's the 93, 94 away kit. Now, for me, this was just like one big advert, this kit for Adidas. Had the big three Adidas stripes across it. It's an Arsenal kit, not Adidas, all right? Arsenal first? Nah. It's a classic now because this is how these kits always work out to be. But at the time, everyone was like, it's an Arsenal kit, not Adidas. At number six is the 2012-2013 blue with the hoops and it was simply a horrible kit. I mean, I, I don't know what the designers were thinking of, it's one of them where they just got, it's just overcomplicated. It's just got no affinity to Arsenal. It's just crap. At number five, it was the 2002, 2003 blue kit. Now there's a pattern here. Some of our worst kits seem to have that blue in it. Now this one, it had these uh, hypnotizing lines on it. I don't know if it was designed or if the opposition saw it they maybe get hypnotized, maybe defenders would go running the wrong way when we went that way, I don't know. But even Thierry Henry looked bad in the kit, that's how bad it was. At number four, the 2011-2012 away kit with the blue-black diagonal sort of stripe across, again, the pattern continues. When it seems to be a blue kit, that's when we seem to pull off some of our worst kits and this one was no exception. I don't know what they were trying to achieve with it. In it. Again, I got it, <laughs> but it was horrible. At number three, another blue number, the 2012-2013 third kit with blue and light blue sort of diagonal stripes going across it. Not a very nice kit at all, but another kit that kind of stands out as a bit of a classic because I always remember Danny Welbeck going back to Old Trafford, wearing that in the FA Cup, scoring the winner against them. Actually, when I think about it like that, the kit's all right. At number two, it's got to be the 1991 to 93 classic Arsenal kit with the big chevrons on it. It's, at the time, everybody hated this kit. And I know there's loads of people out there say, oh, I love it, it's a classic, it is now. But at the time, Everybody hated it, I remember it, right? And these big chevron things on it, and it was a very bold, bold kit to go with. But now it's a classic, it's an absolute classic. At number one, there can be no doubt in my mind, it's the 2008 kit with the sort of burgundy shorts, that was fine. I mean, they were doing this thing to celebrate Herbert Chapman's, but white. We don't want to have anything to do with that mob down the road. We don't want it looking anything to do with Tottenham. Do not make a white kit. And they made this white kit. It had all these little patterns on it with, I think like Herbert Chapman, you could see the old grout. It don't matter, it's still white. And I remember at the time there was an absolute uproar from the fans. They were like, who designed this? Where was it designed? Was it in some sweatshop in Tottenham? Do not make a white kit for Arsenal ever, ever. 
That is the worst ever Arsenal kit. So there you have it. Those are my top 10 kits. As you can see, I like a retro kit. That's why I'm here on Retro Football TV. Make sure you subscribe to them. It's a great channel. Do it right now. Um, and if you disagree with my kits, well, let me know what yours were. Or maybe you might think to yourself, every Arsenal kit is a good kit. And it is true. Every Arsenal kit is a good kit, apart from when they're white. <laughs>